So here is another exercise, but this one is a little trickier, um, but it's not too bad. So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna give you a little bit of time to work on this uh, on your own. I'll give you about 15 seconds. So with a balanced chemical reaction, this kind of helps you figure out how much of a particular substance you need to do this chemical reaction. All right, now in this chemical reaction, if 24 grams of magnesium is measured and will be used in the chemical reaction, how much oxygen in grams would you need to have a complete chemical reaction? And how much magnesium oxide will be generated? So there's a hint here. The amount of the reactants that you're gonna need have to be in proportion of the coefficients, right? So if you have one mole of oxygen, you gotta have two moles of magnesium to have a complete chemical reaction. If you only have, let's say, one mole of magnesium, then that's not enough reactant, right? In that case, you will have an uh, incomplete chemical reaction or a partial chemical reaction. So in order to have a complete chemical reaction, everything has to be in proportion uh, of the coefficients. All right, now we, based on the chemical reaction, we know that for one mole oxygen, we gotta have two moles of uh, magnesium, right? So if we have 24 grams of magnesium, how many moles is that? That's one mole, right? Because uh, one mole of magnesium is, tw is 24 grams. So now we have one mole, right? But remember, we have to do this in proportion right, to, uh, in order to get a complete chemical reaction. So magnesium and oxygen is in this two to one ratio. So two parts of magnesium, one part oxygen. So if magnesium is one mole, then the oxygen is half of that, right? So we only need a half mole for oxygen. So again, this is the two to one ratio, right? Okay. Or you can do this equation to magnesium, one oxygen, and you have one mole magnesium. So what would be the X, right? What would be the amount for oxygen? And that's X. So two to one, that's one to X. So two X is one. So that's kind of how you can, how you figure out. So again, the coefficient of oxygen is a half of magnesium. So if you have one mole of magnesium, then oxygen is half of that, which is uh, half mole. Now you have half mole and you can calculate the amount of oxygen, right? The gram of oxygen. So oxygen weighs 32 grams per mole, right? We calculate that before. 0.5 times 32, that's gonna be 16 grams. So 16, and that produce how much magnesium oxide? So it's gonna be similar. We'll just do this one more time. So in that chemical reaction, we have two magnesium, right? And we also have two magnesium oxide. So they are in that one to one ratio. So that this is a lot easier. Now, if you have one mole of magnesium, then that means you will generate one mole of magnesium oxide. Okay. So what's the weight for one mole of magnesium oxide? So what's the weight for one mole of magnesium oxide? 24 plus 16, right, which is 40 grams. 
that's it. Okay, now let's look at the practice question. Okay, same chemical reaction. Uh, what if you only have 12 grams of magnesium but unlimited amount of oxygen? So in order to have a complete chemical reaction, whichever one you have uh, less, that's going to be the limiting factor. Okay, so we'll just uh, calculate how many moles of magnesium that is and then calculate how many moles of oxygen we have. Okay, so 12 grams of magnesium divided by 24 grams magnesium per mole, right? If you have one mole of magnesium, that's 24 grams. But right now you only have 12 grams. So you only have 0.5 mole of magnesium. Now, magnesium and oxygen, they have to be that two to one ratio, right? So if magnesium is half a mole, oxygen is going to be half of that, which is 0 0.2.5 mole. All right, now 0 0.25 mole times 32 grams per mole, right? Because each mole of oxygen weighs 32 grams. So that's going to be 8 grams. And how much magnesium oxide do we generate? Magnesium to magnesium oxide, that's 2 to 2, which is just 1 to 1 ratio, right? Like I mentioned before. So if you have 0.5 mole of magnesium, then you should generate half mole of magnesium oxide. And each mole of magnesium oxide, oh, this should be just one, weighs 40, weighs 40 grams, right? So that's going to be 20 grams. Okay, don't forget the unit. There you go. All right, next question. So how many hydrogen atoms are present on each side of the chemical reaction? So this is a hydrogen gas, right? Hydrogen gas has two hydrogen atoms. And then you have the coefficient, which is two. So you just need to multiply the two numbers. The two times two, that's going to be four. So you have four hydrogen atoms on each side. And you can double check over here, right? Each water has two hydrogen atoms, and then with that coefficient of two, again, two times two, that's four. Okay, correct answer is C. Next question. If you begin with the four moles of hydrogen gas, how many moles of um, water would you uh, would be produced at the end? So by looking at the coefficients, you know that hydrogen gas and uh, water is in that one to one ratio, right? I know it's two to two, but we don't usually do two to two. We change it to one to one. So that means however moles of hydrogen gas um, goes into the reaction, that's how many moles of water you will get in the end. So if you have four moles of hydrogen gas, then one to one ratio, you get four moles of water in the end. Now, what if I change this to oxygen? How many oxygen is needed for a complete chemical reaction? Hydrogen to oxygen is two to one ratio, right? Two and this is a one. So for oxygen, you only need half of the moles for hydrogen gas. Okay. So if you start with the four moles of hydrogen gas, 
then half of that, that's going to be two moles. Okay. So if I change this to oxygen, then that will be your answer. You need a half of what's uh, for hydrogen gas, which is two moles. All right, guys, uh, this is the end of this lesson. I hope you uh, learned a little bit about um, chemical reactions. Again, with this as a foundation, it might be a little bit easier for you when you go into that uh, lesson on balancing chemical reactions. Okay, thank you guys for your support. I will see you next time.